Welcome crafters, Andy is Yoda here back with a video on my channel and it is a tutorial this time. Have a look at this Morden house. I have built this house on the world of Corallis and in this video and subsequent parts I'm going to show you how to build it block by block. So sit back, relax, enjoy or join in and build it with me. So let's get on with this. I've got a brand new flat world here and I'm going to get building. So. Um, what I've done is marked out a little bit of a driveway here and I'm going to tell you exactly how much space that this place needs. So let's start off with some snow because this is quite a sugar cube type of building and it was inspired, I got inspired to build it um, from this picture here. So let me show you this picture and let me tell you the dimension. So we're 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 across. And we also want to go 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And then, oops, come across the back like this. And this is going to build up the guest house to start with and the garage so it's a garage plus guest house so i do need to get rid of this grass now world edit i have the world edit commands at my disposal so i'm going to use them to speed up the video um but it does mean that if you don't have world edit you'll need to place the blocks individually by hand but all i'm doing is nothing special just placing blocks um, so let's set the floor to just stone which is one and that is the start of our garage now what we want to do is build it up in height one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve just like that and we do want a an entryway at the start one two three four five hmm yeah five one two three four five and then come across like that and then up 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 all the way up to 12 so we need to do all these walls so let's start with this wall and just whirl edit it in slash slash set 80 so if you want to build it and you haven't got world edit then I'm sorry you will have to place all these blocks by hand but at least I'm giving you the dimensions so that you do have a chance of copying what I'm doing so we need to go up to that height there set 80 and then down to here as well and set 80 there we go so this front needs to be filled in also up to here boom set 80 there we go great stuff now what I'm gonna do now is a little bit unusual I'm gonna grab some dark oak stairs and then we're just gonna go along um, oops like that two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, because the whole thing is um, 14 wide. So that makes 11, 12, 13. Hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I can't even count these days. Never mind. Right, enough counting, because obviously I'm rubbish at it. Look what happens when you add the glass. It doesn't join on because these are stairs. How clever is that? And this is the glass for the front of the garage. So stick two layers of glass on, like so, and then stick another one on. And that is going to be the entrance to the garage. And it's really simple and quick. Oh, come on, it is if you can place. Um, next thing I'm gonna use is bedrock. I'm in the um, flows 
texture pack HD flows and I also have clear glass HD clear glass um, put on top which makes all the glass look nice and connected like this so link in the description to that little bit of a download of the extra texture um, what I also want to do is just make a change to the outside of this building so this is going to get deleted down to here because we're going to create the stairs up to the guest house like this so um, we come in by two and this comes along one two three four five one two three four five like that and just build this up all the way to the top and this is going to form the side of the building and it's going to let us go up in height with our staircase um, so we'll just turn the corner here one two one two one two one two one two one two like that and finish things off like that. okay cool right that's that done and then from here we need to put in another bit of flooring all the way over to here and this is going to be gray stained clay which i think is 1595 in world edit it isn't it yes there we go cool so what i've done here is create an area for the guests to sleep in and then there's a back area over here which is going to be some little rooms which could be bathrooms and shower rooms toilets little closets whatever we want so build up some interior walls like that with the world edit or just placing them like i'm doing cool now we need a little door as well like that and this is going to lead us out of Boom, boom, boom. Oh, what happened here? One, two, three, four, five, six. I thought I said replace. Never mind. Wow, look at this for a mistake. First mistake of the day. And have I done it around the back as well? That would be really annoying if I, I haven't. Right, great. So what we need is some little steps down. Um, I think I'm going to keep that as snow and we want to step these down like that and one two three four five and six is far enough because what I want to do is something pretty cool with levels here around the side of this build three four five around the side of this place is going to be a raised area so one two three four I want this to be five across so if you're following along we've got one two three four five six steps down from this door and let's just turn that back into clay I think we can live with that here we go guest house starting to look pretty cool I think um, no we'll leave that off like that okay right the next thing we want to do is just carry this on a little bit here and try and figure out where we're going to step down because we're going to have to step down to get into this pathway here so what i want to do is go from here to one two three four five to about here this doesn't matter so much set 43 doesn't really matter too much where where we put these bits and pieces this is just a walkway around the side of the build so don't worry about counting all these blocks and so on just now it's not, not desperately important there we go um, so we want to connect this up with some sort of stairs I wonder if we want to do that just so you can come out the garage if you wish so there's not much reason to come out the garage and, and trying to walk up this path because we'll want to have a little internal door as well. And that's unfortunate. So we'll want our door 
to be able to open up onto this level here. So let's cut this back. And we've now determined where our first step down is going to be. So make a step down so you can get in that door. So the idea is you drive into your garage in your car, you get out inside the garage, you go up some little steps, and you are able to get into your main part of your house. And let's step down here and just set all this to 43. So that is the house looking pretty smexy already. What we could do is just put a little border here as well. There we go. Looking good. Maybe a couple further, like that, just to finish off the side of the garage. So this is the garage, plenty of room for some tools, which we can put into our garage right now. Little workstation. And I think I'll leave off lighting until later on in the build. We can go around, we can add lights to the build as well. I don't like that, that's it. There we go. Now we need some staircases like this, boom, 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 and then we'll just double that up as well, and there's a little staircase in the side of the garage, and you can come up, and we'll put, put some doors, and then we can go and finish this guest house. So first of all, I want to put on a ceiling which is going to go from here all the way to here. So, a bit of world edit, like that, makes it nice and quick. Apologies if you don't have world edit. But all I've done is rent a little server for about $7 a month. And I'll put a link into the description. And put in a bucket plugin. Got myself some world edit. So here we go, now we want a window big big window for these guys and we'll fill that in so what I'm going to do is build the house and then furnish it later probably in a later episode there we go nice big window now we need to carve out some little rooms back here and you notice the floor that weird noise weird minecraft noise scary the floor is bedrock but it's dead dark so let's do this and make a skylight like that so we're gonna need some blocks here like to disguise the wood but that could be a bath or a sink so this is a cool looking place already um what we want to do finish off the skylight here. Light grey stained glass. I was going to pick just ordinary glass, but let's stick some light grey in. That looks good. Me likes. Right, so we should be able to come in here for another small room. Maybe a little toilet or something. And this can have its own little skylight too. And let's have a little door here through to maybe a boiler room or a walk-in closet, again with its own little skylight. And we're gonna box in these skylights just like that. Boom, 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 boom. And this one. Now, to finish off this build, we want to go around the top of it, slash I-78-4. Ah, damn it. Um, hmm, I want to build up layers of snow, guys. Like this. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. All the way around. Like that. Um, it's a quick way of doing that. I wonder if I could do black wool. And then use some sneaky world edits. Slash... 
Repl Air. Select that and go like that. Yes, it works. Okay, so black wool all the way around. And sneakily getting turned into a little bit of a lip. Like that. There we go. And that is pretty much our guest house finished, which is pretty awesome, I think. You might think, well, it is lacking a lot of windows, but there is light coming in through skylights and through this window here, which will look out onto a pool. So when you get into this place, it's not too bad. And we can also give them a little bit of protection here on the staircase, a little bit of a barrier, just in case people want to throw themselves off. Like that. Another one here. Come on. Click. And, oops, oops. Click. There we go. Little barrier for the guest house. Awesome. Right, now it's on to the main part of the house. Okay, I had a quick look at the other house I built on the World of Kralis, and it turns out this should be here. Hmm. What a mistake of the maker. So, if you're following along, bring this down like that. Now, opposite this door, we can start to place a block. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nope, four in total. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. That little space like that. That's going to be a little elevator um, later on. Right, we want to follow out this kind of pattern. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. So this little um, wall here should be 3, 6, 9, 12 long. Right, now, bit of counting to go. We've got to go 44 blocks that way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we can turn the corner and place blocks like a madman until we get level with the side of the garage. Ha. It should be, according to my calculations, right about there. Then we can go all the way to the garage. Does it match up? Yes, thank goodness. I'm not going to worry about any mistakes. So, that's pretty cool. Then, we need to come along 22 blocks in this direction from here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Woo. And then count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Just like that. And then 1, oops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then this gap here should be 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, hmm, 15, damn it, hold on, ha, I worked it out, I worked it out, I've done a mistake, 1, 2, 3, 4, boom, that should be there, sorry, there we go, and that all works out, and that is kind of the area for our house, now what we need to do is build up the exact height of this, and the magic number we're looking for this time is 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So a little bit higher than the guest house. And talking about guest thing, guess what? All of these walls throughout the whole thing need to be 13 blocks high. So if you haven't got world edit, this is going to take you quite a long time. This is probably the quickest way to do it, like that if you haven't got world edit, but that's what you're going to have to do all the way around, right? I'm going to do it, be right back when it's done. Actually, instead of me 
doing it off camera. I'm going to do it on camera because some people might be interested in some of the world edit commands that I'm going to be using to do this. So what I thought I would do is select these bits here and do, let me show you what happens, slash slash stack 13 up like that. And it's going to stack them all up 13. I'm just going to double check it's 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Ah, it's put an extra one on. So I'm going to undo that, stack 12 up like that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 blocks. Fantastic. What we can do here is come along with a couple of blocks like that just to make a bit of a wall at the side here all the way to there to the side of your property excellent right now we need to stack up the rest of this um, so let's select this block here boom kerboom and um, we're going for the same stack command stack 12 up the way so this is what you guys need to do all the way around your build. Hopefully you've managed that. Right. What I want to do is come one, two, three, and just get rid of all this as well, because that is as high as this wall is going to be. Fat all the way to about here. This can be got rid of. Said zero, boom, it's gone. Like that. Oh, why didn't I get rid of all of it? One, two, three. Yeah. All this needs to go. Bye bye, wall. Like that. Great stuff. We are getting there. We are nearly cooking with gas. Right. Next, we need some dark oak wood. Where's it gone? Dark oak planks. And we're going to put these planks in here. One, one, two, three, four, five, just like that. And these are going to form kind of a walkway for the entrance to the house. Which is good. So we're going to have a swimming pool over here and then an entrance into the house. A very big entrance into the house right there. Boom, 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 boom. So just keep this going. Like this. All the way to this wall. Should use my world edit. Never mind. There we go. And then you want to punch a hole right through this wall. One, two, three, um, four. Let's go four just now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, just like that and then we can continue to make the floor one two three four five a lot of counting in minecraft and spider drive here boom and spider drive here boom like that so we can then um, leave a little gap here of two and go one two three just like that punch another little hole through there Right, looking okay so far. Um, right, what are we doing now? Right, we're going to take this out again, like that, just by one more block. And we're going to make some doors. This one, one, two, three, four wide, like that. That looks okay just now. And then this door, one, two, three, four, five, stays five wide. So we'll just build that. Up. So we're starting to build up some internal walls and some internal spaces as well. And let's just take this all the way around like that. So there's going to be all these little walkways which are really cool. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This bit needs to come up to be quite a big column. In fact, this can come all the way up to the top like that. And our our bit of um, our bit of pathway is going to continue all the way. 
boom, 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 all the way to here. And then there's going to be a bit of a window. So what do we want to do in this episode is kind of chalk out where our windows are going to be. One, two, three, four. Like that. So that is one, two, three, four units high and one, two, three, five units wide. So the space for the pool is going to be in there. Right. Now we want to come in here, miss two blocks and go one, two, three, four. Just like that. And we're going to cut this all the way along here. All this is going to be spaced out. Right, I need to decide where to end this wall here. Well, we're actually going to end it with counting one, two, three on the wood, taking off that, like that. So that's going to be an entrance right into the build. We want to miss out two and then do one, two, three, four. And this is going to be our big upstairs window. And this can come all the way to the corner like that. All those blocks you carefully placed, we're just going to delete. Like that. One, two, three, four. Cool. And we also want to carve out a five wide, one, two, three, four window up here. Four high again. So are you guys managing to follow along? If you're finding it too difficult to follow along, let me know. And I will try and adjust for the next video because we're coming pretty much to the end of this one. You want a little too high um, section just there, like that, and um, hmm, maybe this one shouldn't be here. Let's take that one out and just chomp through six this here. Let's just chomp through this to make another little window there, and then we've pretty much got the basic structure of this modern house complete. Just got to put in some white stained glass, 160 zero, let's go from here up to here. Replace air 160 zero. Isn't it fast? Gotta get world edit guys. It is the only way to build in Minecraft and this can be sorted out into a window as well. Boom, just like so. Right, last couple of things we're gonna do is just come up here like that, just to create a bit of a frame for that window as well. And I think that's plenty to be going on with there, guys. Um, hopefully you've managed to keep up so far. Um, gonna go up one more time show you the dimensions of this place to make sure you've you've got it all correct ah, I think I'm gonna change this one bring that down as well thanks very much for watching we'll see you guys next time bye bye <laughs>